Hello, and welcome to another Cuppa with Casey. It is great to see you. I hope you had a wonderful holiday, and I'm just going to get right into it today. Okay, so today's video is sort of impromptu. I, I I didn't have a plan to do a video before New Year's. I actually wasn't going to do a video before New Year's. I was going to have a break, even though I just took a break. I was going to have a break for the holidays just because the holiday season is already hectic. But for Christmas, I got a lovely new microphone. And isn't it gorgeous? I mean, oh, it's so pretty. So I had to do a video so that I can do some voiceover with my lovely new microphone. And I would do the voice right now with it, but I'd have to plug it into my laptop to do that. And my laptop doesn't fit on the desk with all my art stuff, so it will be reserved for voiceovers. Today's video, I'm going to be drawing cats because I am <laughs> another Christmas present me and my family got from Santa Claus. Um, is a starter set D&D of dogs and cats. So you get to be a dog or a cat and obviously a various uh, class, you know, bard, barbarian, a fighter, etc, 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 and do a DD and d game as a dog or a cat. And I will be DMing the game for my fiancé and my stepson and hopefully eventually my daughter when she's old enough to play. Um, and I thought it would be fun to draw some D&D &D cats. Um, so that's what I'm doing today and uh, I just, uh, let, let's do it. I'm gonna get some handy dandy reference photos. I did a fair bit of scrolling on Pinterest for a good reference. Um, actually I found this tattoo that looked remarkably like my tattoo, which is what that was. Um, but I did a bit of scrolling for references of cats to draw because I wanted to draw from real life, well, photos um, straight away instead of from my head because as we all know, I'm not exactly the best when it comes to drawing animals. Um, well, I say we all know. If, if you're new here, um, I'm not the best at drawing animals except from reference. So that's what I decided to do for the start of this video. I wanted to get some good practice in on the reference side of things. So I picked this. I don't know what kind of cat it is, uh, possibly a Norwegian forest cat, or it could be a Maine Coon, I don't know. It's fluffy, and I just liked how regal it looked. Um, I don't feel like I picked up that sort of regal look from my drawing, which is a real shame, because I think this cat is gorgeous, and I think if I had... Um, Maybe, I don't know, a bit more practice or something. I don't know what it is that I did wrong, but I did something wrong and I didn't quite capture the cat's likeness as much as I would have liked to. In fact, I'm even looking at it now back at the recording and it looks so much worse on the recording than it does in real life. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it almost makes me want to give up drawing art altogether. But again, as I said, I am not the best at drawing animals. I have never claimed to be, um, so, you know, I apologise if you came here looking for cute anime girl art and got derpy looking cats. I do apologise. Feel free to skip over this video. Um, I had fun though. I always have fun when it comes to drawing animals, even though I'm not very good at it. I like cats. I'm very much a cat person. I mean, I like dogs too, but I'm very much, you know, a cat person. Hence why I chose to make a cat character instead of a dog character. Plus there just are lots more dogs in the game as it is and not as many cats. So I wanted to sort of make a cat NPC to sort of give the world that we are gaming in a bit more sort of... Um, uh, dimension is probably a good word. I don't know. We played the first couple uh, missions today and I gotta say I need to work on my DMing. I 
I talk a big game about how I like telling stories, but when it comes to actually speaking them out loud, that's I get sort of nervous and uh, shy, <laughs> especially in front of my fiancé because I don't ever want him to think of me as um, <laughs> dumb, I guess. I want him to think I'm smart or cool or whatever. So um, it's, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone trying to tell these stories. I don't want to embarrass myself, so I get a bit shy and then I don't do as well as I could. Uh, but it's, you know, practice makes perfect. Same with drawing. If you are drawing along with me today, if you are looking at your art like I am looking at mine right now and going, gosh, these cats look derpy, um, just keep trying because... You know, you're never going to get any better if you don't practice. That's, that's pretty much what I say. You got to get through the derpy stage before you can draw cats that look incredible. And um, I got to say, I'm I'm still in the derpy stage. Oh. Oh. My gosh, my apologies. Is it Inktober? Because I'm yawning in my videos again. Though to be fair, it is nearly 1am. I spent... <laughs> most of the night drawing so finally getting into the voiceover for this I would like to get it uploaded tomorrow for Tuesday hopefully I just got to finish this voiceover so fingers crossed my fiance doesn't come walking in halfway through and interrupt because that means I'll have to start over and it's already nearly 1am and I'm, I guess I'm tired because I just yawned um in a minute I will change clothes I guess is a good way to put it and drink I skip forward a day because I was struggling with this a lot because the pictures weren't turning out how I wanted them to like I said you got to get through the derpy stage before you can get to the good art stage and I was just I wasn't feeling it so I did a couple and then I stopped to give myself a break because I didn't want to just sit here hating life um, and then I came back in with fresh eyes and a fresh cup of coffee the next day and some cute messages to my fiancé <laughs> and watching Minecraft. Um, yeah, so I decided to attempt designing the NPC without using a reference. I... Yeah, it, it, you know, I'm actually kind of happy with how it came out. I do like the sketch on this side, the thumbnail, better than the finished piece. But I feel like that is something that all of us artists struggle with. So I'm not really going to complain about that too much. Um, in this sketch, I do have the, the arms or the front legs um, in the opposite position than how I have them in the finished piece. And I think that's why I like this one better. I just like how the arms look um, nicer in this sketch thumbnail than I do in the finished piece. And the reason I changed it is because the silhouette was all very sort of scrunched up. Like if you were to color this all in black and look at it, you wouldn't really have any idea what was going on. It would just look like sort of, I don't know, maybe a Batman shaped blob. <laughs> and um I'm trying to make my silhouettes more dynamic so that even if you only can see like a solid color of just black over the area that I've drawn, you can still distinguish what's happening. So I switch the arms around so that you can sort of see that the cat is, you know, leaning on its elbow and sort of gesturing like it's telling a story. That's what I wanted to kind of... Um, get across with this image and I just felt like the thumbnail didn't quite do it justice with the silhouette so I switch it around for this final piece yeah you know I probably should have practiced it first just to make the shape and the form a bit smoother but I didn't because I um I enjoy rushing these things I guess um yeah so I don't really have much else to say. <laughs> My fiancé came in there, that's why I paused the video and everything, um, because he was having a peek over my shoulder, and I didn't want to miss any of my Minecraft. I'm watching um, Gemini Tay's hardcore video in this video. So 
if you want to check her out she's she's pretty cool i find her amusing and um do recommend i'll link her below so you can go check her out because i don't know i've just really been enjoying minecraft videos lately and i think you might enjoy them too if you like minecraft so it's not really a whole lot else to say about this piece other than you know it's a cat i'm not that great at drawing cats i yeah i just i knew i wanted to do a full copic marker illustration for this video as well as you know give myself something to use for the voiceover for my new microphone which by the way i don't think sounds too bad let me know what you think because i can obviously change the settings around a little bit for the next video um if the current ones don't suit your ears <laughs> I guess is a good way to put it but yeah this is definitely my um probably favorite Christmas present I got my fiance bought me a few um this one and what else did I get from him I, I know I got something else because we did early Christmas presents throughout the month because we're so impatient and just want to give each other gifts um what else did he give me Oh, that's right. He gave me Necrons. So if you play Warhammer 40k, you may um, know about the new, the new Necrons, um, the new Necron armies. He he, I play Necrons and he plays Space Marines. Um, so yeah, he bought me some more Necrons for my army as well as the, um, the Necron Codex what it's called and the cards and the special dice and I got spoiled with Necron stuff and it's awesome um but if you don't know what Warhammer is or you don't play Warhammer and that means nothing to you just yeah I, I got a new microphone and it's really cool and my mum and dad got me a bread maker so I've been making lots of bread and I gotta say homemade bread very nice um <laughs> Oh, look, I'm lining. I didn't even notice. Can you tell I wasn't paying attention to my own video? So I'm using a 0.5 pen for this one, partially because I wanted it to have thicker lines and I didn't want to play around too much with the line width, partially because I've been watching a lot of Drawing With Waffles again and she favours a 0.5 multi-liner and so I wanted to give it a go and see what all the hullabaloo is about and I gotta say she makes it look a lot better than I do um my line art is very messy I think halfway through I just sort of gave up trying to make it look neat and just sort of scribbled it because yeah it wasn't going to my my um uh it wasn't going how I wanted it to so I just sort of you know rushed it at the end there to try and get something down so I could just color it because it was the colouring with the markers that I really wanted to do today and um, the line art was taking up too much time for colouring of the markers. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up rushing the end bit. I, and I'm looking at it now, I should have added a tail. Like how good would it look with a tail sort of curling around behind the cat? Like I didn't even think of that until now and I might have to add that after the fact. Um, but for now, the cat doesn't have a tail and... That makes me sad looking at it because the tail would have looked really good. But yeah, you know, hindsight's 2020 after all. Thinking of 2020, aren't we all glad it's nearly over? I mean, how many days now? What, three? Three days? So excited. Um, looking forward to the new year. I have some resolutions that I am looking forward to kickstart it on. I would start them now, but I'm giving myself three more days of just pure unadulterated laziness um I don't know if you're the same as me but yeah I will hopefully be getting a bit more healthy in the new year I am um cutting out meat from my diet again I was vegetarian for from 15 years old until 26 years old and then when I got pregnant I was craving all the meat and I decided that it must be my body telling me that I need something so I ate meat and with breastfeeding and stuff I just continued to eat it but now that I am no longer breastfeeding 
Not that you guys care if I'm breastfeeding or not, but you know, I don't have much to talk about in this video. Um, now that I'm not doing that anymore, I'm deciding to go back to being vegetarian and I'm excited about that. So I'm giving myself three more days of enjoying um, meat with my meals. Um, though, to be honest, I haven't really. I had bacon and eggs for breakfast. I think that's about it for today, but you know, I'm, I'm not being too strict until New Year's. And once New Year's is back, it's full vegetarianism, back in action, getting my protein from my veggies and fruit and seeds and legumes, as we do. Um, yeah, so <laughs> colouring this cat, I forgot how much I love this paper for using my Copic markers because it blends so nicely. I'm just saying, if you use markers, get this Ohuhu marker pad, uh, marker sketchbook because it's really nice, particularly with the more pastel colours. They blend really nicely and it just makes me so happy to use markers on this paper. And I always forget that. And then when I come in and I do a full market illustration, I'm just like, oh, thank goodness I have this paper because it's lovely. So nice. And yeah, and enough about the paper. I um, I wasn't 100% sure what colour cat I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to do a cat. So I did all the clothing and the eyes and stuff first and then sort of looked over what markers I had to try and decide. I was tossing up between an Abyssian cat, so like a very red-ish, orange, very fiery coloured cat, and a sort of blue-grey cat. And I ended up going with the blue-grey cat just because of the colours I picked for the clothes for this kitty are very sort of orangey-brown and I didn't want it all to look just the same tone. If I'd gone for more cool tones for the clothing, I would have done it the opposite way just so that, that there's that contrast. But, yeah, I did a very orangey-based brown on the leather and the shirt itself was a very sort of warm beige tone so I opted for the blue grey um fur just to give it that contrast and yeah I struggled I am um, like I've never been one to say that I'm good at animals but I find that one of my least favorite things to do for animals is coloring the fur no matter how hard I try I cannot get it to look like a good fur texture and I've looked at tutorials on how other people do it I've practiced I've looked at reference photos I just cannot seem to wrap my head around how to make it look good so it's definitely something I need to practice um maybe just draw some sort of squares and just practice different fur textures on the squares um like an almost swatch sheet kind of like thing just with different colours and um, see how I'd go with that. Maybe I'll make a video out of it. I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested because, yeah, I just i am not happy with how the fur looks. It's not too bad on the face. I sort of tried a different technique of using the lighter tone as a base coat and then sort of trying to do flicks of the darker colour over it to blend it in to look like fur with depth, but... Yeah, it's not what it could be. That's all I'm saying. It, it could have been a lot better. And I will try harder next time. If there's a next time, who knows? I may never draw a cat again. It may not happen. I highly doubt it because I like cats. But I might not. I might never do a video again involving a cat. And then you will never get to see me attempt this again. But I promise you now that if I do make a next time video, <laughs> I will try harder to do the colours. Also, I found the two shades of grey that I chose, so they're actually more of a blue-grey and then an actual grey. They're like a blue with a grey undertone. They didn't really work well together, which was a shame. And, um, yeah, the, the lighter colour sort of lifted the darker colour more than I would have liked. Um, but, you know, it's all right. And I came in with the white gel pen just to add some um, highlights and I did the whiskers with that. And then I sign it at the end with the last video. You guys will see me sign an image as Casey Star 20 
um, because it will be 21 soon and hopefully I don't mess up in the first video of the new year and sign it 20 and sign it as 21 because we all know we all do that. But that's the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the finished piece and enjoyed the process. Please like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Patreon, na, 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 Instagram and Facebook. And I will see you all next week. Have an excellent New Year's. Bye.